Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Unmatter Jeff right here. We are here with episode 5 of Life is Strange. In the previous episode, we finished up episode 1, uh, which was Chrysalis of Life is Strange. And so we are going to go straight on into episode 2, which is Out of Time, if I recall. In the previous episode of Life is Strange... Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! You called film Whoa. little pieces what of time. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. All right. So, here we go. Episode two. And shit starts getting real. Groovy. <clears throat> Groovy start to the day. The time machine. So it's like she's been reading up on what she's gotta well hopefully understanding what her condition is. I still need a shower. All right. Um, anything new, note-wise? Uh, make the bed. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Oh, good six from Chloe. Um, you there, hippie? What about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go by that fast, Smartass, and I need your help. Like when you told Stepdog it was your weed, but for reals we need to talk. I'll eat an Aspuster breakfast at two wheels, my treat. Sold, it's good to have minions. Got a bail master breakfast as a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. No emoji. Meet me at the dinner in 40, I'll be there. Do not be later or no time is not on your side. Don't get high like I'm room. On my way. You are evil, 40 minutes or else. It takes from mother. Hey honey, how you don't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Okay. Um, so, as you can see, we have a new set of optional photos for this Even episode. With all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Okay, if you use the mirror. Whoa. Hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Um... Sorry, I could feel that one coming on and I was like, no, don't do it, don't do it. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Okay. Um, take a selfie. No smiling. 
Take your power seriously. Cringe. No, no, that isn't actually an optional photo, sadly. All right. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Hey, I like, I like his profile picture. He got the TARDIS. The doctor is in the house. Ooh, good shit. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Okay. Um... Okay, I see. I know there's usually an easter, uh, there's sometimes an easter egg where if you look at this corner, Warren will like pop out. And um, also, if you water the plant in episode one, don't do it in episode two, otherwise you'll drown it. Uh, we've got some DVDs. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Mm-hmm. Um. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Oh, that's a shame. Um, okay. Let's take the supplies. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Off we go. Okay, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Uh, no, we're not having that. Get rid of that shite. There you go, much better. Um, okay. Ow! No. No. Move. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. <laughs> wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Max. All right. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max. That's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? Well, uh, Back to the Future. I love Back to the Future, of course, but who doesn't? Can you imagine going back in time to Blackwell in the 1980s? We'd suffocate from all the hairspray. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Okay. Um, so let's talk to everyone else first. Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. I didn't think um, it was like this. Macking on those bros? Ew. We shouldn't be watching this. Everybody's seen it by now. No, okay. Um... Hey, Dana. Oh. Keeps doing that. I don't know why. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Hell yeah, sure. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Okay, uh... 
Who will survive and what will be left of them? Don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Uh-huh. Um Trevor's jacket. Okie doke. Uh paper ball. This is both sad and pathetic. That was that note that we saw yesterday. Okay, that looks like everything. Uh, now we can talk to these dope. Yeah, there we go. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's not cool. That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Uh, what about Victoria? What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Okay. Hey, Brooke. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the snow? Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? Uh, I will later. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Okie doke. Let's go and hit the showers. Hey, it's Kate. Kitty cat Kate. Out of order. That's bang out of order. Um, uh, look at all these posters. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Alright. Chill. Otter power? I'm so not there. All right. Hey, Kitty Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Okie doke. Um, I don't think we don't missed anything there, did we? After my shower, I'll bring her book back, and that'll be a good excuse for us to chat. Maybe just talking with a friend will help her feel better? Yeah, maybe. All right. Time for a cringy shower scene. Because what is an indie game without one? Why am I playing this? Why, why am I doing this? Why am I putting myself through this? Kitty Kate. Kitty Cat Kate. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Hey. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. 
Uh, bitch. I'm right behind you. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Okay, no, no, come on, that's just cruel. Get out of here. Damn fools. Oh, hell no, you ain't doing that to my girl. Come on. Putting on the old, same old clothes you were just wearing, that kind of defeats the purpose of the shower, but hey oh. Ain't my game. Alright, let's get rid of that shit. I better get. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Yeah, alright, let's go. Screw your consequences. The consequences will never be the same. Alright, um, I believe you can also. Right. I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Okay, don't be rude. Excuse me, I'm texting Zach. Let's talk later, Max. I thought there was a part where you could go back in and speak to Juliet again, but apparently not. Alright. What the? Nobody messes with me, bitch. Whoa. Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Bruh. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. That's just fucking weird. Get rid of that shit. We're in the bin. What are you doing? Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art right, if okay. it wasn't so fucking I get it. sick and disturbed. All right. Put Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Alright, uh, let us get that book. For Kate. For Kate Cat Kate. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. We better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Good job, I can rewind time. Be gone, foul soft drink. I'll just drink it, but I mean, hey. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Um, now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Alright. Enough of that. Let's go speak to Kitty Cat Kate. Kitty Cat Kate Cat Co. Alright. Oh, private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything I'm coming for your rest. I know where you sleep. Rude. You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Two to two. Oh, she doesn't sound very happy. Oh, well, she isn't happy. That would explain it. Hmm. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and... Positive. Something that Kate isn't. Why did she cover up the mirror? If she can't look at herself? Okay. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Mm, she's got a postcard. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. John 1 5. Katie, you're always my brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love pop. Oh, that's nice. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Hmm. Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh, shut up. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. Yep. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Aww. Kate is a good mommy. Alright. Snap a shot. Pose. Kind of freaking weird about the eyes, though. That's just kind of weird. Uh, not for me. All right, got our first one. Oh, shit! Now I'm getting anonymous threats. It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. 
But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. Alright. Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Katie, no spiritual Jezebel could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray on my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Bloody hell. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Hmm. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after the classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness, your mother. Jesus Christ. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Hmm. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. No. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. The Bible. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Matthew 11, 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. She's crossed out Proverbs 21, 15. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. Hmm. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Not good. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. You can see a um, bottle of alcohol there. Uh, if you look in the bottom left corner of the screen, very faintly. Yeah, she's got a bottle of booze down there. Oh, uh, Kitty Kate, what have you done? Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Um, I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Um... Why? Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That's awful. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Uh, Nathan Prescott? Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. Ooh. And 
And? 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 That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. All right. Heavy shit, bro. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Hmm. Should I go to the police? Ooh. Now, you see, going to the police would be the right thing. Because if she got drugged and something happened to her, evidence could be quickly diminishing, do you not think? Like, if it's in her bloodstream or something like that. And, of course, her life could be in danger. So the police sounds like a good thing. But then again, when we spoke to the principal about Nathan Prescott waving a gun, he didn't do anything. So whether they were both kind of the same... Looking for proof could be good for us because we just received that text from an anonymous person, presumably Nathan, telling him to keep our nose out of things, otherwise we're going to get our ass, you know, we're, we're going to get our ass. Um, but this really comes into a position where who do we prioritise here, Kate or Max? Now, I know what the best choice is here, and either way I would say this like regardless but we're gonna tell her to go to the police yes you should definitely go to the police kate i totally believe every word you say nathan prescott is truly dangerous bless you max i will go to the police and also principal wells with you as my backup witness they'll have to take us seriously now backup witness well i mean i believe you in everything but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Aww. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Damn, man. Depression's a serious shit. Time out, Serious man. thing. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Yeah, that's what I was saying, but... You know what I mean? Kate comes first. Yeah, de depression is a very serious... Touchy subject, isn't it? Which they handled very well in this game, and it was actually one of the things that was complimented on. Max, food, two whales, see you there. Don't hit your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. Okay. And off we go. To the dorm. Alright, so we're going to be wrapping up the episode in a bit. We nearly had a half an hour. Alright, uh, you know Yeah, we will do, actually. So, let's have a look at today's events. No. So, no. Monday. So... Now when you we got the first picture. Um and then obviously we picked up a couple of new
photos here as well, aren't we? guys so in the next episode we will carry on basically that's all that really is to say i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did be sure to like comment and subscribe and also be sure to share the video and i'll see you guys in episode six bye guys